Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is, this is an adventure. Hello friends, my name is Miss Allegra, you know me, and guess what, this is exciting. I'm talking to you from my studio. I bet you have a studio in your house. It might be a kitchen table or a dining room table. It might be a desk somewhere, or maybe it's a little corner in an area where you get to keep interesting tools and materials for your use and nobody can bother you there. This is my sun porch studio. It's a sun porch. It's really cold in the winter, but in the summer, spring, fall, it has screens, the winds come in, it's a magical place, and I kind of take it over and make it my art studio. So I am talking to you from my art studio, my sun porch studio, today, and what we're going to do for our first session together is we're going to be a bit of an explorer, treasure seeker, and collector. What I did this morning is I walked around my house, went into many different rooms, and found tools, materials that I know I can use to make art. You may not have the same exact tools that I do, that's not really important, but I bet you have tools that are similar. So I'm going to give you a challenge. You're going to go on an adventure and find any tools and materials in your house that you think you can make art from. You may wanna ask an adult if you can use some things that you find first, because there might be something that you find that you know would be interesting to make art out of, but it might be really meaningful to someone else. So you just wanna make sure that the treasures that you find, it's okay that you make art with them. What I'm gonna do with you now is share with you the tools that I found, and then I'm gonna send you on a mission to do the same, and you're gonna send me what you find using a photograph. So, can I show you what I found? All right. I'm gonna start really basic. I found blank paper, blank paper. It has one side that's blank, but the other side is printed on. I can still use this side to make any drawings or collages. It's useful, take it. Drawing tools. I found this pencil. Look at this friend, it's super tiny, but guess what? It's pointy, it still works. Cha-ching! I found an eraser, broken, but still works. I found some tape, different types of tape. I found some markers that I organized before we met. These markers are different brands, different sizes and shapes, but there's color inside them, so they work. I found sculpture materials, used boxes of all different sizes, and cardboard that can be used for sculpture or collage. This cardboard is super thin, so you can cut it up and use it as collage shapes, or you can put it back together and use it for sculpture making. It's very versatile. That means you can use it in many different ways. I also found some magazines that I have around the house. Magazines that have words of different shapes and sizes. And when I open them up, oh, they may even have characters on them that I can cut up and use for a collage. When I opened up this magazine, I found something. I found some pages that had like many different flowers in them and textures of, of fruit piled together. And so I thought if you were making a collage, you could, if you wanted like the color green, you don't need a solid green paper. You could take this sheet out, cut a square, circle, rectangle, hexagon, hexagon. Is that a shape? I think I meant hexagon. Thanks for letting me correct that. You can cut any shape you want and use these textured colors for your collage. Very fun. So that's what I found lying around my house. 
And what I plan to do is take a selection of these tools and decide how I want to make my art. And so that's something that you'll find some directions to in a separate document that you can access on the portal. You might need an adult help to help you find it. But for now, this video is kind of like an introduction. It's a, hello, I'm Miss Allegra, I'm Mary Jo, this is my house, this is my studio. Let's see what I have and let's see what you have. So here's your challenge. Walk around your house, put on like your explorer, treasure seeker mindset. Look around, see what you can use to make art like markers, pencils, scissors, boxes, magazines, papers, maybe even sculptural, other sculptural items like a clay if you have it, or if you even have paint. There's nothing right or wrong or needed. It's almost like trying to figure out what we can use that we already have, right? I know you do, I know you do. So what you're going to do when you find all these tools, is you're gonna clean off the empty tabletop space or the floor, and you're gonna set all these tools and materials up. And then you're gonna need a device like a phone or an iPad that you can take a photograph of it with. So let's pretend all these tools are sitting down and you're gonna um, arrange them in any type of form you want. You take a camera and you take a photo. So what are you gonna do with that photo? How am I gonna see it? Well, you can email it to me. My email has my name in it. My name is Mary Jo Allegra. So you're gonna type in your email, Mary Jo underscore, that's the line that goes underneath, not the dash in between, Allegra at fa dot org. That's my email. Use this email and send me the photograph of the materials that you have at home. I want to see what you've got that we can work with these next few days. We're going to have so many fun creative adventures. I cannot wait to see your photos. I can't wait to see an email that comes from an adult that lives in your house or is staying with you. And I can't wait to see your name inside that email so I know that that photograph of, ma of materials and tools belongs to you. If you want to write me a hello message or what you plan to use those tools for, I would love to hear from you. So don't forget, be an explorer, keep an open mind, find some things, take a photograph, send it to me in an email that includes your name and maybe a special message to me. I hope you're doing well and I can't wait to hear from you and see your photographs. Until next time, practice makes better, trust Joe's hands, keep an open mind, you got this.